Hurricane Irma left a huge mess across the Tampa Bay area and as city crews went to clean things up, they brought a lot of the debris right here to this city owned maintenance yard along the Hillsborough River. But the problem is people in this West Tampa neighborhood say they were never notified this was happening or that the debris was going to be here so long and a lot of people started complaining about dust and irritation. I got this picture from city officials of all the debris. You can see there are piles and piles and piles reaching as far as 40 feet high. The other frustrating part of this mess is this city owned yard is a designated brownfield site, meaning there could already be some contamination here. So add that on top of a hurricane and mounds of debris left in a residential neighborhood and you can understand why neighbors were upset. They apologized because it was a rush. It was an emergency. It was during the hurricane season. It had to get done quick. You had debris everywhere. Uh, people wanted it cleaned up. And so they did that and they just picked this site because the city owned it. I suggest why don't you do a major cleanup, man, of the whole CRA and we'll call it even in the community because we got that dumped on us without our knowledge. The city did agree to do a major cleanup for a big chunk of West Tampa between Columbus, Kennedy, Armenia and the Hillsborough River. The sweep will take place today and tomorrow as well as next Friday and Saturday. You can place unwanted household items like furniture, appliances, toilets and even tires and yard waste on the curb. There's also going to be a community cleanup next Saturday with lunch provided. One other thing to mention, this site is being cleared as part of all of the redevelopment happening here in West Tampa. We've talked a lot about that and we know that Mayor Buckhorn wants to make the Hillsborough River the center of downtown. But we do know that whatever company takes over this site will be responsible for cleaning up any possible contamination. Emerald Morrow, 10 News.